Hi, welcome to WiseCat. Today, what I'm going to do is upgrade my Moodle to Moodle 3.11. 3.11, it's coming up. The last one before 4.0 comes at the end of this year. So, let's upgrade. But this time, I thought I might show you how to upgrade your Moodle using the command line. So instead of doing what uh, often happens and uh, just using the, um, the installer, I mean, people often what they'll do is they'll actually download Moodle core from Moodle uh, core code from the Moodle.org site and then uh, try to overwrite the existing code with that code base and it can get very messy very quick. But the command line offers you uh, the option of being able to use um, git so what we'll do is we'll t cd into our, um, our Moodle directory there and we can see that we've got all of our Moodle files as per usual with a config.php not writable by the web server etc etc and we can just do a git status on this to see if I've added anything special in here and what this will do is check out if there are any files that have been changed or changed or anything like that. And I've, I have changed a few things. I've changed a, a couple of little plugins and added a few plugins, for example. And I have made these changes to uh, boost columns1.php and boost columns2.php. And that was just me having a bit of fun. I might show you what I was doing in a future video. But anyway, this Git, what Git does is it allows us to keep track of any changes that have happened to the code. But also, we can fetch, using Git fetch, the code that uh, comes from uh, up high, up on high on the server. And uh, this is the code actually ahead of us um, on in the Moodle development. So the Moodle development team, uh, they put a whole heap of commits together and then those commits are accessible via Git. So all the software from, from Moodle, all Moodle software for ages and ages and ages is accessible via the Git repositories. And this makes installing Moodle actually quite easy. It's about three or four commands and you've got the code installed. Uh, actually in order to upgrade the, the um, Moodle software, we don't actually need to run git fetch, which I just did now. Uh, all we actually have to run is git pull. And that will bring down the latest uh, version of the branch uh, that we're on. However, git fetch allows me to demonstrate that if you do, do git status again after doing git fetch, you can see that uh, in this particular instance, uh, we are behind Moodle 3.10 stable by 200 commits and could be fast forwarded. So we should use git pull to do that local branch and then we're going to switch branch to uh, 3.11. So let's go through a few of these things and do them step by step to make sure that you can get the idea of how, how these things are done. Okay, so the very first thing that we're actually going to do um, before we actually start messing around with things is we're going to stick our site into maintenance mode and that's not quite wide enough for you to see it there. But um, you see we, we can actually do all these things using um, the command line because there is a CLI version and that is now, I'm in the way. Ooh. Uh, move that up like there. So uh, the command to do this one is inside of your admin folder, admin slash CLI for command line interface, maintenance.php, and you can give it this flag of uh, enable to enable maintenance mode or disable to disable it. Now this is running the PHP command to run the PHP files, to pass the PHP files and execute them. And we're going to run it as the www data user. This is the web server user that we're going to do. That's why the sudo dash uww data is there. So if we do this, this just puts our, um, our uh, this puts our, oh, I think I messed that up, oops. This puts our um, our site into CLI mode, and if we go back to the site now and actually have a look and try to perhaps uh, access it, we'll see that we get this maintenance mode message that says, no, 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 uh, 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 we cannot do that at the moment because we are in 
maintenance mode. So uh, let's get on with uh, upgrading the server because now we're in maintenance mode. We know that we can safely run other commands and have them actually uh, not interfere with um, uh, users being logged in and not going to interfere. The, the database is not being written to uh, at the moment so that we know that we can actually safely do our git pull and our upgrade. And so let's start out by doing a git pull. Now it's pulling and pulling and it has now completed. And what that has actually done is taken all the differences. You can see some differences are additions of code and some are subtractions of code. Some have been added and some have been removed. And you get a little bit of a graphic representation of the things that have changed. But what that has actually done is brought it up to date with the, um, the current branch. So if I now go get status again and get the status, you'll see that it will say that we are up to date with um, 3.10 stable. But we haven't actually gone to the notifications page yet and we haven't actually, um, and I, I might actually get rid of these in uh, the next step. But anyway, we haven't actually updated the database yet. So we have to do what usually you would do online. Um, you would probably do this uh, through the web browser. Uh, is you would go to um, admin slash admin slash index.php and the upgrade would finish itself. But instead of that, we're actually going to go to the admin CLI version of that and go upgrade.php. Uh, now this also can take another flag of non-interactive. Um, I'll just run it right now as interactive because all it really does is asks you do you really want to upgrade? So I will say yes, and that will get me to tell it to upgrade. And setting new default values, essentially through the CLI version, it usually just sets default values. Whatever the default values are for the uh, new version, it will just set any of those values to the default. Um, so you don't have to actually go through that big scroll of death of uh, setting straight after you've upgraded. And that's it, that's done. And then I can run the uh, maintenance mode thing with disable again, and that would disable it. However, uh, we're not just doing this. We're actually going to also set up a new branch to track, and we want to switch to that branch so that we can go to uh, Moodle 3.10, because all we've upgraded to at the moment is 3.10.4. And we actually want to upgrade today to 3.11. That's the hard part that we're going to do. But this is, um, what this at the moment means uh, is that by just doing git pull uh, regularly, and it'll say already up to date, and then running that upgrade script regularly, um, you can keep your Moodle up to date with the latest version without having a whole bunch of fuss. Git pull and upgrade.php is the simplest way to upgrade from point release to point release to point release. So 3.10.3 uh, to 3.10.4 is what I just did. It is incredibly painless. That's how painless it is, two commands. Um, well, three or four if you include putting it into maintenance mode, but you can put it in maintenance mode through the web interface and that doesn't matter at all. Okay, so let's go on to Moodle. Um, 3.11. So for this one, I'm going to actually use the reverse lookup. And this is the command that I use to actually tell Git to track the branch of 3.10. And this basically is just saying, okay, Git, the program Git, uh, please look at the branches and track the, uh, a branch called Moodle Stable from Origin Moodle 3.10 Stable. And it's good to keep these names the same so that you, uh, it's obvious which one, what they are. Um, I always do keep them the same, so I'll just go 3.11 and 3.11 there, and now the 3.11 Stable is there. Um, you might wonder, how do I know that? Well, I can also run the command actually, git branch, dash a to list all of the branches that we have and you can see that I've uh, I, when I installed this it was on 3.10 stable and that's where we are now that's the green one that's what what we're on and 3.11 stable is the one that I just set up 
And all of these remotes exist, so all the way back to as far as uh, Moodle 1.3. And theoretically, if you wanted to use um, use Git to install Moodle 1.3, uh, you could do that if you wanted to have a look at um, the ancient versions. But anyway, uh, Git, uh, Git uh, branch A for finding out what um, what branches exist and, and you can then use the track command uh, git branch track to set up one to track. Now that still hasn't actually changed anything on the on the server though. As far as the server is concerned the Moodle version is still 3.10 so we have to check out uh, the new version. So what we can then do is say um, we take this basically uh, we've set up Moodle 3. Uh, 311.stable and we've set up that branch so now we can check out if I could actually learn to type properly check out Moodle 310 stable and when we hit this this will actually change the code base uh, to Moodle 3.11 and so we hit that and see what happens and uh, it's actually going to say, okay, got some modified files here, and these modified files have been checked out. And so what that means is if I go back and do another git status, um, they're there, but uh, they've, uh, they've still been staged there, and they can actually be fully checked out. I might just check these out completely. Uh, I'm going to copy that and git check out because actually that what I was doing in there was no fun at all really and columns one and columns two so I'll just check out both of these and this is basically saying check out I want the I want the up-to-date code I don't want any modified things so I've checked them out they're now gone and all it says now is my my Moodle is up to date with branch 3.311 3 again we have not yet actually done the database upgrade for 3.1.1 so we are going to now go one more time to uh, run that upgrade script. And this time, instead of upgrading to Moodle 3.10.4, this will upgrade us to 3.11. And so it'll ask us first, OK, um, upgrade your server to this version, 3.11. Uh, this, you know, uh, you really want to do this? Of course I do. Yeah, so I'm just going to hit yes. And boom, now it's going through all of these. Now, while this is happening, I might just mention one of the benefits of doing uh, an upgrade via the CLI. Now, PHP typically has a timeout. After perhaps 30 seconds or so, it will usually time out um, when it's doing some sort of a task. However, if you use uh, doing an upgrade of Moodle, sometimes the upgrade can take well in excess of 30 seconds, uh, especially if you're on a bigger site or something with a slower disk. Uh, it can take a long time. So instead of doing those uh, upgrades through the web interface, it is often a lot better to do it through the command line interface because the command line interface doesn't have such a timeout. Um, typically, by default, PHP is set to have no time timeout there. Um, so anyway, uh, that has now completed, uh, and it didn't time out, and now I'm on 3.11. So the last thing to do is to go back to my uh, maintenance mode command and disable maintenance mode. Change from enable to disable and eh, voila, site is running normally again. Well, let's see what's normal. Normal is, uh, okay, we come back here and oh yes, that looks very normal, doesn't it? Very normal indeed. Okay, um, okay, I think I need a username and password for that that I do not currently have. Just give me a second. Okay, sorry about that. Uh, yes, I uh, had actually logged into incognito mode, so I had forgotten about that. Okay, here we go. We are now logged in anyway, and we can go to site administration and go to our notifications menu, and you will see that once the notifications load that boom 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 we are there on Moodle 3.11 and I didn't have to download or 
um, bum around. Uh, it will say actually there was 11 minutes between the last two runs because we it basically means that it, we took 11 minutes to do the upgrade. Um, it should be run more frequently. Yep, uh, it will. It's just that when, once we put it into maintenance mode, it was in maintenance mode for a grand total of 11 minutes, and the cron job did not run in that pro in that time. Give it a few seconds, and that will probably actually disappear. Yep, and cron is running frequently. So, um, stay tuned to the Wisecat YouTube channel because coming up next, my Moodle 3.11 unboxing. Now I have a shiny new Moodle 3.11 install of Moodle uh, in the next few videos. Let's check out all the awesomeness that it brings with it. Look forward to seeing you then. Cheers.